Aloha Hawaii, this is Paul Kalainui, and you are listening to Hawaiian Potpourri. We have been talking about presidential campaigns, we have been talking about mayoral campaigns, and uh, if you would like to comment on either one of these, uh, give me a call at 524-1080. We have someone walking in on the street of Honolulu on King Street, not having seen buses pass her by. Uh, I can't understand it. She says she's been walking for the last hour and no buses passed by. I don't think there's a strike uh, or any particular reason why she would not see a single bus pass by. Maybe she stopped off and <laughs> got a cup of coffee or something uh, while you had buses passing by. I got an email. A thrilling victory was a subject by ACLU James Essex. And they said, uh, Dear Poka, I'm thrilled to let you know we won a huge victory in Eddie Windsor's challenge to the so-called Defense of Marriage Act, that's DOMA, D-O-M-A, which prevents the federal government from respecting the existing marriages of same-sex couples. This is a huge win for Eddie Windsor, for civil liberties, for human rights, and for loving couples everywhere. In the ruling, the judge decided a critical section of DOMA unconstitutionally discriminates against married same-sex couples. This now becomes the fifth case in which courts have struck down DOMA as unconstitutional and solidifies an emerging consensus among federal judges that DOMA's got to go. Eddie Windsor has long been a voice of strength and compassion. And in this momentous victory, she had some wonderful words to share. Thea and I shared our lives together for 44 years, and I miss her each and every day. It's thrilling to have a court finally recognize how unfair it is for the government to have treated us as though we were strangers. On behalf of Eddie and Love and loving same-sex couples everywhere. I thank you for your work with the ACLU in making this happen, and I'm happy to celebrate this victory with you all today. Thanks for all that you do. James Essex, Director, ACLU LGBT Project. So if you didn't get uh, an email from them and... Uh, or may have missed your email, then I share that with you, and I'm sure ACLU would uh, appreciate the information coming out. Let's go to our telephone lines. Our telephone number here is 524-1080 in the event you want to call and discuss some of our issues. Aloha, caller. Welcome to the program. Hello, caller. Oh, hello. Yes, hi. Um... I can barely hear you. Okay, how about now? I'm trying to speak a little louder. Oh, nevertheless, uh, you were, you said that you had a discussion on the mayoral and presidential. Oh, too bad. I, I, I missed that. I just turned it on <laughs> oh, a few minutes ago and... Uh, uh, what, what were you, are you for rail or against rail? Uh, personally, I am against rail, but I think the deeper question is, let's talk about the, the different points. Why should rail be supported? Why should rail be against it? And instead of attacking, take for example Ben Cayetano, instead of attacking him for his not being nice to, who was that, Dan Inouye, or instead of attacking him for... Uh, what was that, his uh, campaign spending in the last election. Talk about the issues. What is he saying? And what are the issues? What are the bad points about what he's saying? And what are the good points about what he's saying? Uh, and I'm saying that the level of conversation, the attacks against him is so shallow that that in itself will eventually or will add to a people's choice, and that's not where it should be. The choice should be made based on one's assessment of the arguments. Oh, well, I have my own opinion. Uh -huh. For a while, I just uh, wasn't sure, you know, mm -hmm. and um, I feel that um, all these years, 
decades, uh, Hawaii has always been against rail. And um, there comes a time mm -hmm. when um, we can't give the same excuse. Wow, the state has no money. We have mm. no money. Mm -hmm. You know, because the situation here on uh, Oahu is getting to such a point that something must be done. Yes. And because this is an island a state, and mm. and and it's not a joint. You, you know, it's not a huge. Huge uh, island. Um, I felt that now is the time mm -hmm. for rail mm -hmm. because Obama is the president, mm -hmm. and Hawaii should embrace him instead of making attacks like the uh, Republicans have been doing to uh, go against Obama on everything, mm -hmm. so that he would not be a great president. But that's terrible because what they're also um, disseminating is um, hatred. Mm. And I have mm -hmm. never seen uh, so much hatred spewing out of the mouths of these, uh, you mm. know, uh, the presidential candidates, yeah. the Republican side. Mm. And, um, and then a lot of these things, unfortunately, are not the truth. Yeah. Yeah. If they were the truth, well, go ahead, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, when they spew out uh, hatred, bigotry, and when they... They uh, are also, um, you know, uh, telling the people that what they're saying is uh, the, the truth and what Obama and the Democrats are saying are lies. That is wrong. And mm. this is why uh, I saw a survey even where the Republicans who just listened to the Republicans were m less informed regarding the uh, current events yeah. and, be and uh, the politics. And, you know, and uh, these are the red states primarily, and some of the people even here in Hawaii are beginning to turn over and think that uh, um, they should go Republican. Mm -hmm. But now is not the time because democracy is, uh, is at stake. And if we have four more years of uh, the Republican policies, uh, the nation will become, uh, after a while, in, in, in a few more years after that, mm -hmm. uh, we will become, uh, probably have an oligarchy or a dictatorship or mm. whatever because mm. money is buying the, presi uh, the presidential you know, role or yeah. the title. Mm. And, mm -hmm. and that's not good mm -hmm. for a democracy. So when, uh, uh, and a lot of these people are, uh, you know, on the mainland are really Christians, and, or so they say, but mm. yet they don't seem to know the difference between lies and truth. Mm -hmm. But God always said, seek the light. I am the light, mm -hmm. you know, and, and he is the light, he is the truth. But uh, unfortunately, the people, uh, the common people, the regular people, are becoming swayed by the lies that these um, hmm. very, very wealthy, uh, you know, people are uh, telling the yeah. regular people over the air, like Rush Limbaugh, hmm. and, you know, O'Reilly mm -hmm. and Hannity. I don't listen to them anymore because mm. I, think, I feel that uh, in my old age, I can handle only, you know, I want to keep only the <laughs> truth in my head. I'm a truth yeah. seeker. Mm. And then, so if, as far as rail goes too, mm -hmm. I finally am for rail mm -hmm. because, uh, because um, there has to come a time mm -hmm. when we must commit ourselves to it. And uh, because the situation on Oahu is getting worse, mm -hmm. people are driving recklessly. Mm -hmm. And if you get more cars off the freeway, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a whole lot better. And, and uh, also, uh, fortunately, we have the trade winds, but you won't have that kind of pollution, mm. you know, mm -hmm. that's emitted. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, uh, I really feel that... Um, uh, and 
Oh, and another thing too is I really feel I don't know why uh, Governor Cayetano, as a former governor, mm -hmm. is being regressive. Okay. Uh, before you go on, because you have covered a number of issues. Oh yes. There let, are a lot of things going on. And okay. Let, let me interrelated. Yeah. Let Let me uh, discuss some of the points that you have raised so that we don't lose track of the discussion. And let's just focus on uh, one or two points with regards to rail. Okay, and let's we'll, we'll focus on rail. Okay, and, and let's <laughs> leave... So strongly and yeah. passionately. No, I know that, and that's why I wanted you to have the chance to express yourself. But if we can come back to rail mm -hmm. and your primary reason for financing or for rail seems to be two issues. One, financing is available and so we need to take advantage of this opportunity and secondly because it will be effective in removing cars from the streets and it will improve the pollution factor in Honolulu so if we can address just those two and let me respond by perhaps oh, can I mention one more thing yes go ahead uh, regarding a rail mm -hmm. I heard one of the uh, higher officials in the Department of Tra uh, Transportation on national news mm -hmm. uh, saying that uh, the more mass transit that you have, mm -hmm. uh, it makes the city more efficient transportation-wise. And so she said, and I mentioned this elsewhere, where New York City mm -hmm. is the mo most efficient city mm -hmm. transportation-wise mm -hmm. in the United States. Okay. Why? Because there are uh, lots of mass transit. You yeah. have a choice. You know, they have subways and all kinds of mass transit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, you have huge, they have airports here, international, domestic, etc. Yeah. And so, when I started thinking about the efficiency uh, uh, way, then, you know, uh, more so we should do it. And mm -hmm. the thing, too, was she also was saying that uh, they are encouraging cities mm. to, to go to, uh, towards rail. Yeah. Okay. Because there's no other way, I guess. Okay. Let, let me respond, including that point. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will tell you what my concerns are. First oh, of okay. all, First of all, with regards to the city's efficiency, what they have also found is that those cities which were developing and rail or uh, yeah rail systems were put in as the city was developing, so that the cities were not dependent or did not already establish an automotive uh, form of transportation, uh -huh. then they found that rail had been effective and that uh, they found not only New York City but many other cities where you have heavy investment in rail as the city itself was growing, then it worked. But they also found that in cities that already had uh, individuals who were heavily dependent on their cars, then you introduce rail. What they found is that people were not moving out of their cars and substituting rail as an alternative. What it would do, perhaps, is take up the additional cars that may be driven after rail comes in, but people who were driving cars would not be leaving their cars. So, I don't think that the New York City example is appropriate because it's really not comparable to the Hawaii scenario. And there had been some uh, studies making that kind of comparison, and you may want to research those studies as well. Okay, so that's mm -hmm. that point. Oh, okay, because um, uh, she was talking just, you know, nationally. Right. And I'm just talking about, you know, uh, Hawaii, but yeah. yes, that's a good point that you make, too. Okay, the but second... You know, uh, in, uh, in a sense, mm -hmm. uh, Manhattan mm -hmm. is... Uh, an island. Mm -hmm. Japan is an island. Mm -hmm. And we can't, unfortunately, we just don't have more room 
on the street. Well, that's true. Now, let, that brings me to my second point. Oh, okay. your, your assumption is that if you have trains going from, where is that, ever to Honolulu or even to Waikiki, that people will leave their cars on the side and all jump on the train. But from all of the surveys that have been taken by people who are now driving, when they are asked, would you leave your cars on the side, the vast, vast majority is saying no. That, that the rail is not going to substitute for the cars or the vehicles that are on the road at the present time. So the claim that people are going to use rail is not valid. It's not validly reflected. As an example, there was this boat. The boat that would take people from ever across into Honolulu by... Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. And that turned out to be a major flop. Oh, although, I knew it was going to be a flop. <laughs> although the reasoning was that you leave your car in this parking area, and then you jump on the boat, and you go to Honolulu, and then you can pick up on the bus system there. It's much closer. And it sounded wonderful. The theory was effective, but the reality, in fact, was that people just didn't opt for that. Mm -hmm. uh, it, the, so this inconvenience factor did not work out. Okay. So that I made addresses. I a suggestion. Uh -huh. Locally, you know, when they were at, uh, designing or thinking about, you, you know, rail mm -hmm. and where it should be going, where did, uh, they wanted the, the stations or whatever. Yeah. And I really didn't study but it but, uh, that much, but I'm just going by common sense. Mm -hmm. Hawaii also is uh, an old, older uh, state. That's correct. Uh -huh. And a lot of these people, because they're living longer now with the uh, information regarding mm -hmm. how to live longer, mm -hmm. They are, and some of them are in pretty good shape. Yeah, but no, I, I, I'm going to have. Some of them to, just don't want to uh, okay, drive I, anymore. Yeah. But my suggestion to the state was, rail will surely be a, a failure if you don't have feeder um, uh, buses, feeder, uh, you know. Okay. Uh, no, uh, I, I'm going to. From your home. Okay, I'm going to have to. Station. Hello, ma'am. I'm going to have to interrupt you uh -huh. because now we're going to go into other points but I did want to address at least three of the major points oh, that you okay. had okay and and that third point that you had and then later on I'm going to go to other callers because we have two other callers oh. so you have inspired other people to join oh, into this that's debate. Good. <laughs> yeah it's good that's good now uh, the third point that you had is the financing is available Obama is in office, That's right. and we can expect, especially with the combination of Obama and Inouye, that they will put up the funds to construct the rail. The problem is, even if you have money to construct the rail, where is the money going to come from to continue the maintenance of rail? And if you take a look at what is happening with regards to rail across the United States, the issue is not in the construction side, but the maintenance cost. And from all studies that we have seen, they do not have a plan by which you can maintain these over the years. And then you're going to have to dig more and more into the island coffers such that the people who would be riding the rail would not be able to finance the rail system itself. So it will have to come from taxpayers while the businesses that are uh, surviving or profiting from the fact that the taxpayers are paying for the rail are benefiting from the increased uh, movement of people. So I'm not all that convinced about the financing and, and right now, the financing, even with regards to the initial spending, is getting out of hand with the way the city is running uh, its millions and millions of dollar payment and penalties and all this stuff before the thing even get, get started. Yeah, but they should have, you know, they should have had um, better bus lines uh, several years ago, decades ago. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, uh, 
talk about the rail because then people would get used to taking the uh, the bus or the train and you, you know well anyway I'll, I'll let you uh, get to your <laughs> callers but thank, thank you. you very much for hearing me out sure you're welcome thank you for your thank call you. aloha let's go to our next caller we don't have too much time with my apologies aloha caller welcome to the program hello poka yes yeah. aloha yeah just uh no no matter again no matter what you think whether you're for or against it is another truth in the last 30 years where in the u.s have they built heavy rail hasn't happened in the last 30 years heavy rail mm. steel, mm -hmm. steel heavy rail yeah not been built in the u.s mm. for mm -hmm. 30 years there's, there's reasons for that and like rail yeah and like yeah. you said in certain areas yeah mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. course you cannot compare manhattan with oahu yeah, yeah, the whole history of the place yeah, is different. No. <laughs> There's some obvious differences. Yeah. But uh, I really don't have enough time. I guess I got to uh, cut and run. But next time, maybe, <laughs> I guess tomorrow, I'll uh, call back about Fortress Oahu. Fortress Oahu, okay. And, and U.S. occupation spending here. Okay. Manana, tomorrow. Thank you Aho for your call. Hi, Ahoy Ho. Pala pala anu nu me kapak 